HoloLens have announced their first fully waterproof open-air headset with a neckband, and as the name OWS Sports might suggest, these headphones were designed with the physically active in mind. Hi everyone, my name is Andy, and you're watching Andy's Tech Tone. Neckband designs are not new to those who lead an active lifestyle, as for example, all bone conduction headphones which are extremely popular amongst cyclists and runners come with one too. But that's where the similarities between the OLEDENS Open Air headset and bone conduction headphones end, because the OWS sports come with large 23mm by 10mm dynamic speakers, which blast sound into your ear canals, delivering a more balanced and tonally rich musical experience, but more about that towards the end of the video. And now let's see what we can get for our money if we back the Kickstarter campaign OLEDENS just launched a little while ago. Well, there are the speaker units up front, with an ear hook attached to the batteries behind your ears, and there is the neckband of course, which can guarantee a super secure fit no matter the physical activity you do. And of course there is the impeccable build quality across the board as well. The target audience mostly consists of runners, cyclists, hikers and all sorts of outdoorsy people, and I believe that no one will have a reason to complain about how secure the fit of these headphones is. And I reckon that the same applies to the long-term comfort. OLEDENS has been known for delivering extremely comfortable earbuds, and the OWS Sports will carry on that tradition. Of course, your experience with the fit and comfort can vary, I'm just sharing my own thoughts with you. And that reminds me to make a quick disclaimer. I got the headphones from the manufacturer for testing, but I'm not getting paid, so I only share my honest and unfiltered opinion with you guys. Now, back to the fit and comfort, I had a chance to take out the OWS Sports on a 15k long run, and I found it just about perfect. No issues, no chafing, no budging, just a hassle-free run on a sunny day. I also wanted to take the buds with me on a long spin, but these days I'm more or less stuck inside using my smart trainer, thanks to the mostly cold and windy conditions out there. But I did a short test with my bike helmet and sunglasses on, and I found no issues there. The OWS sports are so compact and sit so snug around my neck, that neither the temples of my shades nor the retention system of my helmet caused any trouble. And when I was just strolling around wearing a jacket with a high color, the neckband seemed to be working pretty well too, without causing too much of a trouble. And no matter if you sweat heavily on the indoor trainer, or if you get caught in a shower outside, the IPX8 fully waterproof rating will protect the OWS sports even in such adverse conditions. And after a hard workout, the headphones can easily be rinsed under tap water, and you can even submerge them into water. Not that you can use the headset for swimming, because you cannot, but that's pretty much the only scenario where some other designs, such as fully waterproof bone conduction headphones, prove to be more useful. But those are very rare, and for example, the Shox Open Run Pro, which is one of the most popular bone conduction headphones out there, is IP55 rated. And while that adds dust protection, it's a couple of notches below the OLEDENS headset when it comes to resilience in wet conditions. And since I brought it up, the Open Run Pro are also a couple of grams heavier than the OWS Sports, which does not have much of an impact on long-term comfort, but it's a fact nonetheless. And since we are weighing in things, another potential competitor is the Soundcore Aerofit Pro, which comes in at around 32 grams, and that is more of a substantial difference when compared to the OWS Sports. But while it offers an inferior IPX5 rating only, it gives you more flexibility in terms of how you want to use the buds, thanks to its removable and adjustable neckband. You can also get the Shox Open Run Pro in two different sizes, and as far as I can tell, OLEDENS only offers this one-size-fits-all kind of solution. And before moving on to discussing the battery life, we have to talk about the carry case, which, given the neckband design of the headphones, is rather huge. It's sturdily built with a soft-to-touch felt coating on the outside, and with a small compartment for the proprietary magnetic charging cable inside. It's a high-quality case, and the felt gives you that premium feel at first, but I'm not sure how it will compare to the longevity of that of the Shox Open Run Pro case, which offers the same features, comes in roughly the same size, but that textured plastic on the outside feels a touch more robust in my opinion. 
The Soundcore headphones come in a much more compact hard plastic case thanks to their modular design and that case offers another two advantages. First, there is the standard USB Type-C port as opposed to the proprietary magnetic charging port on the Oledans. It's not really the port itself that I mind, but the extra cable that comes with it. And second, there is the total battery life, which is potentially much longer with the Air of it Pro thanks to the battery built into the carry case. I'm not sure why manufacturers have not thought of putting batteries inside their large carry cases, which could not only add to the total playtime of their neckband designed headphones, but then they could also use a USB Type-C port on the case itself and get rid of those extra charging cables. But regardless of my wishful thinking, the 150mAh batteries inside the Oladens Buds can last up to 15 hours on a single charge. And that is 1 hour longer than what you can expect from the Aerofit Pro and 5 hours more than what the Open Run Pro can do. That's with of course the AAC codec at modest volume levels. Using LDAC, Aptex HD or even Multipoint and listening to music at full volume all the time can bite big chunks out of the battery life so your mileage might vary. And there is the quick charge feature too, which can give you enough juice for 5 hours of use in just 15 minutes. In terms of wireless connectivity, the manufacturer made two strange calls. First, they put a 5.1 compatible Bluetooth chip inside the OWS Sports, which is not the most future-proof given the fact that 99% of all recent earbuds come with a Bluetooth 5.3 chip on board. And the second interesting decision was opting for the Aptex HD audio codec instead of the more flexible and advanced Aptex Adaptive or God forbid the latest Aptex Lossless. I mean, I don't mind a high-res audio codec which has the potential of delivering a better quality sound, but the Aptex HD codec is something that you rather see on over-ear headphones and not on true wireless earbuds. I know these are technically headphones, but I reckon it is a strange decision nonetheless. Of course, the AAC and the SBC codecs are on offer too, and you will need either one of those in case you want to use the dual device connection mode, as the Oladance app will make you choose between Aptex HD and Multipoint. So you don't get to use two of the most interesting connectivity features at the same time. Having Aptex HD on board does not help with latency either, and since we don't get a dedicated game mode switch in the app, the around 200 milliseconds of latency will not cut it for hardcore gamers. That said, watching movies is without lip sync issues, and in general I found the connection to be solid with no dropped signals in both Aptex HD and dual device connection mode. As for the competition, Soundcore limits the use of the multi-device connection mode on the Air of It Pro 2, but there it is the LDAC codec which gets disabled, which is a more common choice of a high-res codec these days. And the Bluetooth 5.3 compliant chip on board is also a bit more common in 2023, let alone 2024. Shox uses the same older 5.1 version of Bluetooth, but the Open Run Pro was released back in 2022 and it made a touch more sense back then. The engineering team did not even bother adding extra codecs there, but knowing the sound quality limitations of the bone conduction technology, it's not that surprising at all, even if we talk about a top-of-the-line product. And now let me give you a quick audio sample from the built-in microphones on the Allens OWS Sport. We got a dual mic setup, and this is the audio quality you can expect when making a phone call using these headphones in a quiet room. And in case you were wondering, this is the phone call quality you can expect from the built-in microphones on the Shox Open Run Pro Bone Conduction headphones under the same conditions. And while we are at it, let's not forget about the Soundcore Aerofit Pro and its built-in microphones. So this is the audio quality you can expect when making a phone call with these earbuds in a quiet room. And here's another audio sample for you guys, so you can have an idea of what kind of an impact some traffic noise in the background and the tiniest bit of wind can make on the phone call quality of the Olader OWS for Headphone. And to put it in some kind of a context, here's another sample from the Shox Open Run Pro in the same conditions outside with some traffic noise and the tiniest bit of wind. And last, this is a mic sample from the built-in mics on the Soundcore Air of it Pro. So this is the phone call quality you can expect from these earbuds when you happen to make a phone call while you are out and about. 
As for controls, we get real, physical buttons on the OWS Sports, including a customizable multifunctional button on the left-hand side and a volume rocker slash on-off button on the right-hand side. And across these two buttons, you can control play, pause, tracks, volume your voice assistant and phone calls. The buttons are located at the top of the speaker units, which makes them easy to reach. They are comfortable to use even during exercise, and we also get quick reaction times. And while both sound core and shocks give you plastic buttons too, the Aerofit Pro has a limited functionality and the Open Run Pro gives you no remapping options in its app. So as far as buttons and controlling your media are concerned, the OWS Sports easily outrank the other two here. And speaking of buttons, there is one button in particular which might pique your interest. And that's the Oladance button, which is essentially a remote controller for your headphones. You can use it on your bike or in your car to control your media playback, and it can also be used as an intercom, so multiple Oladance bots can be connected for easy mid-ride chatting with your fellow cyclists. The button is IPX5 rated, sweat and rainproof, it comes with multiple mounting options in the box, and it costs an extra $50, but considering how much it can add to the functionality of your Oladance buds, the price is not that high in my opinion. But whether you get the button or not, you will have the Oladance app which runs on both iOS and Android. On the main page you can find the custom settings for the multifunctional button and the different sound profiles with three presets and the five band manual EQ. In the settings menu you get a left and right sound balance slider and a switch where you can choose between dual device connection and the Aptex HD codec. And other than the quick user guide and firmware upgrades, that's pretty much it. You can also turn off the headphones from the app, but while this feature makes more sense on other Oladance buds, such as the OWS Mark II, where you have no dedicated on-off switch on the buds, with the OWS Sports it feels a bit redundant. I would rather wish they have added the option to switch manually between previously connected devices, but no such feature can be found in the app. And that's something both the Shox and the Soundcore app can do. The Shox app has not much else to offer other than a vocal boost EQ mode, but Soundcore did not skimp on adding extra features to its own app, such as an 8-band manual EQ, spatial audio with head tracking, auto power off aka sleep mode, find device and a sound balance slider which is similar to what we get from Oladance. So while the button controls are top of the class on the OWS Sports, there is room for improvement in the app. And now let's see what sort of a sound we can get from the huge oval-shaped 23mm by 10mm drivers. Well, first of all it delivers a dynamic full-bodied bass with a good kick in the mid-bass. And we get quite a steady and consistent bass output across the whole volume range, not like on the Aerofit Pro, where the bass starts to roll off at a rapid rate above 60% of volume, to avoid distortions at higher outputs. On the OWS Sports, there is no drastic shift in the sound signature, if any at all. What I can hear though is some sort of a fluctuation in the bass at times. It feels like a hesitation from the virtual bass algorithm because it doesn't really know when to actually kick in and as such it misses a few beats here and there. It's not always present and it has nothing to do with volume and I reckon that the way the algorithm handles the bass can be fine-tuned with a firmware update down the road, so let's hope they will fix it soon. The mid-range on the Oladance headphones is not quite as open or forward as it is on the Soundcore buds, but the vocals sound richer, warmer and more detailed at the same time. Instruments come through with clarity and with a natural tonality. The highs are detailed and crisp, but sibilance is a non-issue and we also get great extension up top. There is more energy in this range than what we get from the Aerofit Pro, but what the Soundcore bots can do better is painting a more precise and focused image, and they can also go much louder at maximum volume. The OWS Sports have a rather diffuse but wide and spacious sound stage with a touchless focused image. And if you want to play around with imaging, you can also enable the spatial audio feature on the Aerofit Pro and have a bit of fun with head tracking as well. Not that I personally miss it one bit from the Oladance headphones, but still, spatial audio is becoming more and more of a key selling point in certain segments of the wireless audio market. And speaking of what's becoming what, I'm afraid that the bone conduction technology and its inferior sound quality will slowly become instinct, 
as far as mainstream music listening options are concerned. The Shox Open Run Pro is clearly one of the most highly rated products in its own category, and yet they cannot even touch the OWS ports in terms of sound quality. Thanks to the traditional dynamic transducers in the Oladance buds, the bass goes deeper, the mid-range sounds more rich and lively, and the highs serve up more detail and energy. And if that wasn't enough, we also have to deal with those vibrations on all bone conduction headphones, which are unavoidable if we consider how the sound is created and transmitted through the bones in front of our ears. And while you might think that vibrating the bones creates less of a sound leakage, the truth is that all three headphones here are equally bad at that. But I'm not going into more detail as far as the difference between open ears and bone conduction, because that's a topic for another video where I will elaborate on the benefits, the possible downsides and the recommended use cases of each design and technology when it comes to sports headphones and earbuds. However, what I can say today is that the Oladance OWS sports headphones are one of the best options for those who are physically active, spend loads of time outside and need a safe and secure way of listening to their favorite tunes at the highest possible sound quality. So if you are interested, then you better check out the crowdfunding page on Kickstarter and grab the headphones at a discounted price of 129 before the 14th of January 2024, because the retail price will be 199 after that. And that is not only a significant jump in itself, but it will also make the Oladance OWS ports more expensive than either the Soundcore Aerofit Pro or the Shox Open Run Pro. But that just reflects the prices and options at the time of making this video, so if you want more up-to-date info on both availability and prices, then please check out the links in the description below. And that was my take on the Oladance OWS Sports. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As always, your comments are welcome. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you all in the next one too.